to my channel. This is the Hair Therapist with a Twist. I'm so excited to be back at you. And the next series of videos, I think I'm going to do about three or four videos, I'm going to be debunking natural hair myths. And I just want to share with you this therapeutic principle. Perception is reality. And when it comes to natural hair, sometimes our perceptions can lead us to think something or to believe something as reality that's not really reality. And let me give you an example. I feel so loved by many, many people that compliment my hair and I just feel like this journey has just been fully embraced by myself and fully embraced by others. So I do want to start by saying that is a positive. But I want to also say that one of the things that happens is when people realize that you are natural and that it's not just a trend, but it's more something that you're going to be doing um, permanently and they know that this is what you're rocking, you're styling it, and you're doing it unapologetically. They tend to make com people sometimes tend to make comments. And let me tell you about some of the comments that I get. I get comments outside of compliments about the fact that natural hair is not manageable. And I want to debunk, boo, I want to debunk that myth because to be honest, that could be the perception. And I'm going to tell you why it is a reality for some people. When we were relaxed, and I'm only going to speak for myself because I can't speak for anybody out there. When I was re relaxed, my hair was manageable because it was in a straight, you know, I used the chemicals to straighten it. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, I didn't really wear that many different styles. I mean, I did my wrap. I wrapped that night. I combed it down in the morning. And I tried to flow. I tried to maintain that for about two weeks. And then I went back. Um, either I straightened it myself or I may, may have went to um, a salon or something to get it, you know, re-straightened. And then four weeks, four to six weeks, I was dealing with new growth. And so then I relaxed again and I completed that process over and over again. Well, when you're doing a process like that, it's easy to convince yourself that that's manageability. However, we did not really get an opportunity to see or experience manageability, not in a relaxed state. You can't really experience managing your hair when it's in a relaxed state. That's just my opinion. So I want to say, I want to debunk that theory and I don't just want to come out here and say, oh, you wrong. Natural hair is manageable. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to do that. I want to help you guys. I want to say, you know what? If you think that natural hair isn't manageable, then I want to show you some reasons and some ways to make it more manageable. I want you to join me on my journey and I want to help make your journey so much that so much more easier. So I'm going to be showing you a few things about what I will do in a week's time to maintain a twist out. What you see here today, this is a tweed out. Tweed is a twist braid, um, braid twist. I braid my hair and then I twist it on the ends, half braid, half twist. And this is the outcome. Gives me a little bit more texturized look than um, my typical braid out. And I'm just gonna walk you through a week of trying to maintain this particular style. It's not that much definition, you know, it's not that much texture. So I'm going to try to maintain these curls for a week and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. All right. Okay, it's day one. And at night, I just simply did the chunking method, which is taking large pieces of hair and twating them, twisting and braiding them. It's day two. I use the pineapple method, which is taking your hair and pushing it to the front as not to smash your curls. All right, moving right along to day three. I really retwist it with the chunking method, half and half. Okay, day four, I did the pineappling method again. That is definitely a favorite for me. Day five, as you can see, I decided to do nothing. 
I just slept on my satin pillow. Day six, I retwisted completely. And then at night, I did the pineapple method again. Again, it's one of my favorites. Day seven, this is how I looked. And I pineapple at night. This is how it was in the morning. Here's day eight, showing you that I was able to maintain my curls longer than expected. I'm an overachiever.